Have you ever pondered over the enigma of the ancient cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? These two cities have been etched into our collective memory, not only as historical locations, but also as potent symbols of vice and divine retribution. Nestled within the pages of the Old Testament, the tale of Sodom and Gomorrah has been passed down through generations, captivating imaginations and sparking debates amongst scholars and theologians alike. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, as per biblical accounts, were thriving urban centers rich in culture and resources. However, they were also infamous for their moral degradation and rampant wickedness. The citizens, according to the scriptures, were indulging in sinful activities so much so that their iniquity reached the heavens, provoking divine wrath. The biblical narrative emphasizes the moral aspect of the city's destruction, portraying it as a divine punishment for their sins. However, the exact nature of these sins, and the precise details of the city's annihilation, remain shrouded in mystery. Various interpretations have been put forth over the centuries, but a consensus eludes us. What makes the story of Sodom and Gomorrah particularly intriguing is not just their moral significance, but also the mystery surrounding their actual existence. Were these cities real, physical locations or merely metaphorical constructs? If they did exist, where were they located, and what led to their downfall? Can archaeological evidence corroborate the biblical account of their destruction? These are the questions that have puzzled historians, archaeologists, and theologians for centuries. Despite extensive research and numerous theories, the mystery of Sodom and Gomorrah remains largely unsolved, adding to their allure and intrigue. As we delve deeper into the chronicles of Sodom and Gomorrah, we will explore their historical and biblical significance, examine the theories surrounding their existence and destruction, and attempt to separate fact from fiction. This journey promises to be a fascinating blend of history, religion, archaeology, and mythology. So, are you ready to embark on this intriguing journey into the past? Join us as we unravel the chronicles of these legendary cities. The story of Sodom and Gomorrah finds its roots in the Bible. These two ancient cities mentioned in the book of Genesis have been steeped in infamy for their rampant sinfulness. The narrative tells of a time when moral decay had so deeply set in that divine intervention became inevitable. Now what exactly was the nature of this sinfulness? The Bible speaks of their wickedness in broad strokes, describing it as so great and so grave that it was exceedingly grievous. The specifics are left to interpretation, but the narrative paints a picture of a society that was steeped in immorality and injustice. Enter Lot, Abraham's nephew. He resided in Sodom, a man righteous amidst a sea of iniquity. The tale takes a dramatic turn, with the arrival of two angels in the city. Unaware of their divine nature, Lot offered them hospitality, a gesture that was about to set a series of cataclysmic events into motion. As night fell, the men of Sodom surrounded Lot's house demanding to see his guests. Their intentions were far from noble, revealing the depth of the city's depravity. But Lot, valuing the safety of his guests above his own, offered his two daughters to the crowd instead. However, the mob was not appeased. In a turn of events, the angels struck the crowd with blindness, saving Lot and his family from the mob's fury. The angels then revealed their true identities and their grim mission, to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah for their wickedness. They instructed Lot and his family to flee the city without looking back. As dawn broke, the once thriving cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were enveloped in a rain of sulfur and fire. Lot and his daughters escaped, but his wife, who disobeyed the angel's command and looked back, was turned into a pillar of salt. The wrath of God was ignited and a punishment like no other was about to descend. This biblical tale serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked sinfulness and a call to uphold morality in the face of societal decay. And then came the divine retribution. As the narrative of the Bible unfolds, divine judgment fell upon the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities were steeped in wickedness, and their moral corruption had reached such heights that it invoked the wrath of the heavens. The Bible paints a vivid image of that fateful day. The sky, once a tranquil expanse of blue, darkened ominously. The air, previously filled with the hum of daily life, grew eerily quiet. And then, with a roar that shook the earth to its very core, the heavens opened, raining down sulfur and fire upon the sinful cities. The destruction was absolute, a spectacle of divine power and wrath. The once thriving cities were reduced to ashes, the structures that stood tall now mere rubble. 
The inhabitants who reveled in their sinful ways were consumed by the flames, their cries echoing in the deafening roar of destruction. Amidst this chaos, a singular event stands out, the transformation of Lot's wife into a pillar of salt. Lot, a righteous man amidst the wicked was spared the divine wrath. Warned by divine messengers he and his family fled the city, but they were given a stern command. Do not look back. Yet human curiosity or perhaps the pain of leaving behind a life proved too strong for Lot's wife. She turned to take one last look at the city, and in that moment, she was transformed into a pillar of salt. Her fate served as a stark reminder of the consequences of disobedience and the severity of divine judgment. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah serves as a potent symbol of divine retribution. It is a tale of how divine judgment can be invoked by moral corruption and wickedness. It is a lesson of the consequences of straying from the path of righteousness, of the dire repercussions of giving in to sinful desires. Thus, the cities were obliterated, leaving behind only a haunting narrative. A reminder of the power of divine wrath and a warning to all who tread the path of wickedness. But what do the sands of time reveal about these cities? As we delve into the world of archaeology, we find that the story of Sodom and Gomorrah is not confined to the pages of the Bible. It has left its mark on the physical world as well, with researchers tirelessly seeking clues buried beneath layers of history. Over the years various archaeological findings have been linked to these fabled cities. One of the most prominent among them is the site known as Tal El Hammam, located in modern-day Jordan. This location has been proposed as a possible site for ancient Sodom due to its size and period of occupation, which aligns with the biblical timeline. Excavations at Tal El Hammam have revealed a thriving Bronze Age city that met a sudden, violent end. A thick layer of ash and destruction debris suggests a catastrophic event, possibly a meteor explosion, which could have resulted in the city's demise. This theory, however, is not universally accepted, with some researchers arguing that the evidence does not conclusively support it. Another proposed location for Sodom and Gomorrah is the area around the Dead Sea. This region is rich in bitumen deposits, a substance that can ignite and cause widespread destruction. Some scholars speculate that an earthquake could have caused these deposits to explode, raining down fire and brimstone and giving rise to the biblical account of divine retribution. Despite these intriguing findings the archaeological community remains divided. The true locations of Sodom and Gomorrah as well as the cause of their destruction are topics of ongoing debate. Some scholars argue that the cities might not have existed at all, suggesting that the story is purely allegorical. Ultimately, archaeology provides us with tangible pieces of the past, fragments that we try to assemble into a coherent narrative. Each discovery adds a new layer to our understanding, yet the full picture remains elusive. The evidence paints a fascinating picture, but the mystery remains unsolved. So, what have we learned about the legendary cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? We began our journey by delving into the mystery surrounding these two ancient cities. As we navigated through the fog of time, we found ourselves immersed in a narrative rich with intrigue, morality, and divine intervention. From the outset, it's clear that the story of Sodom and Gomorrah is one that has captivated audiences for millennia and continues to do so today. We then retraced the biblical tale, a story that stands out in the book of Genesis not only for its vivid imagery but also for its moral implications. The cities were depicted as dens of iniquity where the inhabitants had turned away from virtue and had become consumed by vice. The divine retribution that followed was swift and absolute, a rain of fire and brimstone that obliterated the cities and their inhabitants. This biblical account serves as a stern warning of the consequences of moral decay and the importance of adhering to a virtuous path. Our exploration then turned to the archaeological perspective where we sifted through the sands of time in search of tangible evidence. Numerous sites have been proposed and excavated each with its own compelling case, yet the definitive location of Sodom and Gomorrah remains elusive. This ongoing search is a testament to our inherent desire to connect with our past and to seek answers to age-old questions. Finally we grappled with the persisting enigma of Sodom and Gomorrah. Are they simply allegorical tales designed to impart moral lessons? Or were they actual cities that met a cataclysmic end? The truth, it seems, lies somewhere in between, shrouded in the mists of time and history. In conclusion, our journey through the story of Sodom and Gomorrah has been an intriguing blend of faith, history, and archaeology. It's a narrative that continues to captivate us, 
prompting us to reflect upon our own actions and the world around us. Whether myth or history, the tale of Sodom and Gomorrah continues to intrigue us, reminding us of the eternal struggle between virtue and vice.